imagine a particle that exceeds the cosmic speed limit and moves faster than light. Amazingly, this idea is not just science fiction, but the real result of some physical models. However, whether the hypothetical tachyons are compatible with the theory of relativity and can be described using quantum field theories has long been hotly disputed among experts. Until now. Because now, physicists have come up with a groundbreaking new solution to the dilemma and provided new material for discussion in the expert world. But how is it even possible for tachyons to be ahead in the race with light? What problems do they pose for researchers? And how could they even help us to solve the agonizing mystery of dark matter? Some things are simply part of the basics of physics. All bodies that have mass attract each other. On Earth, all bodies fall downwards, that is, towards the center of the Earth. And above all, nothing is faster than light. Well, that's what you might think. But in fact, the world of physicists also hides a hypothetical particle that we can confidently call the cosmic Speedy Gonzales, a particle that chases through space at faster than light speeds and can even travel backwards in time. At first glance, we would probably only associate the breathtaking properties of the tachyon with science fiction films such as Star Wars. After all, they are in stark contradiction to Einstein's special theory of relativity, which states that nothing can be faster than light. In a vacuum, the speed of light is around 300,000 kilometers per second, or 1.08 billion kilometers per hour. And not even massless particles such as photons are capable of exceeding this breakneck speed. But sometimes, a theoretical loophole is enough to give light the speed edge. In 1962, several physicists pointed out that there are several possible solutions to the equations of the special theory of relativity. One of them corresponds to normal matter moving at sublight speed, but another, and this is the exciting part, allows for particles that constantly race through space at faster than light speeds, and which cannot even be slowed down to the speed of light. Against this background, the American physicist Gerald Feinberg introduced three terms in 1967 to categorize the particles in terms of their properties. According to this, tardions always move slower than light through space. Luxons exhibit a constant speed of light, and the speed of tachyons is always faster than that of light. In the end, however, only the latter term should prevail. At this point, however, it should be noted that although tachyons embody a mathematical solution to the equations of the special theory of relativity, this does not mean that they necessarily have to exist. How to leave the light behind But how is this even possible? How can a particle be faster than light? Well, to understand this, we need to take a closer look at the theoretical calculations and the resulting characteristics of tachyons. The experts of the 1960s discovered that there could theoretically be particles whose square mass has a negative value, and which could therefore break through Einstein's speed limit. For this to succeed, however, they would have to be traveling exclusively at faster than light speeds. This in turn is made possible by the fact that the particles lose mass and energy as the speed increases, thus reversing the well-known pattern of all normal particles. Conversely, this means that the tachyons would have to be supplied with an infinite amount of energy in order to slow them down to light speed or below. But how can the superluminal particles actually be created? Well, Feinberg also presented an explanation for this at the time. Similar to the Higgs boson, the tachyons are also formed by the spontaneous symmetry breaking of a scalar field present in the cosmos. This in turn interacts with matter and the structures are sometimes suspected of being involved in the creation of the mysterious dark energy. While the existence of tachyons can be explained quite simply at first glance, the matter becomes all the more tricky when we look at it from a physical perspective. Although it is true that the superluminal particles can be described within the framework of a string theory and the Casimir effect, they cannot be accommodated in the valid quantum field theory in the same breath. In this regard, the experts point to three serious problems that turn tachyons into a fast-moving thing of impossibility. The first complication is that the energy of the tachyons could take on negative values under certain conditions, which according to conventional wisdom is simply impossible. The next hurdle concerns the question of stability. 
Previous calculations have shown that the quantum physical tachyon field would be unstable in its ground state, a circumstance that would in turn trigger a kind of tsunami of superluminal particles. Last but not least, there is the fact that the number of tachyons would change depending on the state of the observer, and this is also in stark contradiction to the current models. This new model solves the tachyon problems. While most researchers consider the tachyons to be unwanted artifacts due to their theoretical problems, the team led by Jerzy Paxos from Stockholm University saw them as a challenging task that needed to be overcome. In the course of their work, the experts finally came to the conclusion that the three fundamental obstacles could in fact be based on a fatal misconception. But what does that mean? Well, Paxos' group has shown that the problems are based on an incorrect representation of the Lorentz group in a Hilbert space that is too small. To put this in context, the Lorentz group describes the symmetry of the equations that describe the laws of nature, including Einstein's field equations, for example. The Hilbert space, in turn, describes the possible states of a quantum physical scalar field. In simple terms, the experts attribute the tachyon problems to the fact that the conditions for their physical integration have so far been squeezed into a much too narrow framework. In this respect, it must be taken into account that the tachyons move in a different time frame. As already briefly mentioned, they could theoretically travel backwards in time. As a result, not only the initial state, but also the final state of the system must be included in the tachyon models. The state of space must therefore be expanded, and the idea that the future can have a direct influence on the present has not just been around since yesterday. The bottom line, however, is that this phenomenon would also lead us to our understanding of the causality ad absurdum. After all, in this case, the effect would occur before the cause. Perhaps this is also the reason why this assumption has so far been regarded as an unconventional interpretation of some quantum phenomena. And yet the new study shows that the extension of Hilbert space makes us forget the three basic problems of the quantum physical description of the superluminal particles. By doubling the Hilbert space, physicists obtain a mathematically coherent framework that enables the correct quantization of the tachyon fields. The particles can therefore be integrated into the quantum field theory. But that's not all. According to the researchers, inserting the tachyons could also help to solve some of the mysteries surrounding the Higgs boson and the origin of its quantum field. In particular, the dynamics of the phase transition are still accompanied by huge question marks. Whether the latest findings of the experts from Stockholm will one day lead to these physical secrets being revealed remains to be seen for the time being, because first they have to withstand the critical voices of dissent from within their own circles. Krzysztof Jalowski from the Institute of Fundamental Research in Seoul is of the opinion that the proposed theory is not tenable. It is said to violate the locality principle of interactions in a fundamental way. According to Jalowski, there are therefore most likely no particles with negative square mass at all, and therefore no tachyons. According to Jalowski, the adjusted equations are accompanied by unphysical behavior that makes no sense. Whether there are particles that whip through space at faster than light speeds is therefore still controversial. However, their existence is now being discussed not only in the world of imaginative sci-fi authors, but also in the ranks of renowned researchers who may soon shed some more light on the cosmic speed darkness. Does dark matter consist of tachyons? Although the existence of tachyons has not been empirically proven, some experts suspect that their influence in the universe could be much more significant than previously thought. A new study has come to the conclusion that tachyons may be at the heart of the mysterious dark matter that the research world has been searching for so long. It is a well-known fact that the true origins of dark matter have always been hidden. Its existence is postulated in the standard model of cosmology to explain the movement of visible matter and in particular, the speed at which stars orbit the center of their galaxy. However, as dark matter interacts neither with other matter nor with electromagnetic radiation, it is not visible and can only be detected through its interaction with gravity. However, 
Dark matter consisting of tachyons would explain why the experts have not yet been able to find out what they're dealing with here. The experts calculated that a cosmos filled with tachyons could initially slow down its expansion and then accelerate again, just as astronomers can observe in the universe. It is generally assumed that dark energy is responsible for the accelerated expansion of the cosmos. Accordingly, the idea of a tachyon cosmology model could explain both dark matter and dark energy. In order to compare their theoretical considerations with real data sets, the researchers relied on observations of Type 1a supernovae. These are supernovae that always erupt with the same brightness and therefore serve as useful points for determining distance in the astronomical world. And lo and behold, the experts found that the tachyon model can also explain the supernova data just as plausibly as the standard model of cosmology with dark matter and dark energy. So does this mean that dark matter and dark energy actually consist of tachyons? Well, not necessarily. First of all, researchers have to prove that tachyons really exist. In theory, the tachyon cosmology model, similar to string theory, is capable of explaining many things. But in practice, it would also give rise to a new series of enormous problems. First and foremost would be the problem of time. The casual flow of time from the past into the future, on which our entire world is based, would lose its validity in this form. But what do we know? Maybe you'll press the subscribe button right now precisely because you've already done so in the future. Become part of our community and never miss another exciting video from us again.